In the end, all startups are risky. You cannot make a startup less risky by making it less ambitious, which sounds weird. Most people think, oh, if I lower my ambitions, then I'll increase my odds. That's maybe intuitive, but it's also completely wrong. And the reason that it's completely wrong is that what it requires in order to succeed in a startup is a set of resources that you're going to use along the way. And the two most important resources that you're going to need if you build something really ambitious are talent, you're going to need amazing people to work with you, and capital, you're going to need money to pay those amazing people and, and, and do some other things too. And so the mistake people make when they try and lower their ambitions, thinking that will increase their odds, is they forget that to get those two ingredients, talent uh, and capital, they actually need to be attractive to the providers of talent, as in team members, and the providers of capital, as in investors. And what attracts talent and capital? It's ambition. No great person wants to go work for an unambitious company. No great investor wants to go work for, uh, sorry, go invest in an unambitious company. And so I see this again and again, that great people think, oh, if I just make it sound a little bit easier, then everything will be fine. And that's a terrible mistake. Start with the most ambitious version of, uh, of your dream, of your passion. Um, that, that is the way to, to succeed. Because although, yes, doing hard things is hard, what it does is it attracts the resources you need along the way, and that's absolutely key.